things are bad under the Biden administration, from inflation holding at 8.3 percent to the unprecedented crisis at the border, where Border Patrol is overwhelmed by the drugs and migrants that cross the border every day. So how could anyone say anything is perfect at a time like this? A Wall Street Journal op-ed says perfect is the new way to respond to anything. The, quote, fear of giving unintended offense has us doling out macro praise for the slightest effort. Wouldn't thank you work just as well. <laughs> Uh, Joey, are we so worried that we're going to offend someone or be canceled that uh, that now we're just going over the top with praise or we don't want to rock the boat? What do you make of this? I think it depends on where you're talking. If you're talking like that op-ed kind of talks about the colloquial usage of the word among people. And they talk about how young people use it more than older people because maybe older people have been around long enough to know nothing's perfect. I don't, I don't know. But when we talk about politicians, you know, don't spit in my face and tell me it's raining. <laughs> don't tell me that... Inflation just climbed up an inch when another statistic says year over year it's up 8.3 percent. You know, 8.3 or 8.4. I think Americans feel the eight more than the 0.3 or 0.4. That's kind of the point that, to say back to that. And I think Americans are in a place now to where they're not going to believe a politician on a stump. They're going to believe what happens in their lives. And this administration has absolutely taken the line of telling you things are not what they seem That's and true. are not as they appear. And I think their words get less and less valuable no matter which word they're using as they continue that line and that approach in explaining away their failures. Oh, well, they do it all the time. Um, as it relates to our society, though, listen to what the author of this op-ed had to say. When I buy something, the salesperson says, perfect. When I explain when an assignment is due, the student says, perfect. When I return a towel at the gym, the attendant says, perfect. The conventional response is, thank you, but it has been displaced by this word of ultimate praise. It is a byproduct of our hypersensitive society, which is... Uh, with its fear of giving unintended offense, I call this macro praise, the opposite of microaggression. <laughs> Guy, um, I, I don't know. Is this, is this a new society? I'm, uh, I'm not so bothered by this. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I, I'm gonna sort of be like, uh, I'm, I, I'm not caring perfect. so much about this. And here's the thing. <laughs> I think people can understand that sort of rote rhetorical tick or trend when someone says perfect in a mindless way versus when they mean perfection. I think we can sort of understand the context and make a, a differentiation there. It kind of reminds me of this other thing where if someone thanks me, and I'm, I'm guilty of this for sure, they say thank you, and I'll come back with no worries or no problem. I've been yeah. scolded for that, saying just say you're welcome, don't say no really? worries or no oh, problem. It's like offensive? it's insensitive. Oh. I'm like, it's just a response. Like, <laughs> I'm just being yeah. polite. Can we just move on with our day here? So I, I really don't take issue with this. <laughs> and, and I think that this op-ed is perhaps overthinking the issue a little bit. Well, I, I do see, though, that there is some s hypersensitivity, Alicia, at least in, I feel like, our younger generations. Right. You know, you and I were talking before the show. My, my parents are small business owners. I know, you know, you and your family are business owners as well. I think that it's becoming increasingly hard to at least critique the younger generation of workers because they get very offended very easily at, it seems like the slightest oh, thing. What, for sure. What do yeah, you think? And, and that's another little language tick we have. For sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. But, uh, but that does happen. This happens with my <laughs> husband sometimes because he deals with all ages of people who come and work in our restaurant. And sometimes he'll come home and complain about something and I'll say, well, why don't you just tell them? And he says, whoa, oh. we have to just do this a little delicately because oh, if they okay. aren't perfect or great, then it's like nothing. You can't just be okay and have a need to improve. For some reason, that's become very difficult to approach, and yeah. it's it's strange. I, I'm right jealous. Now. I don't get to bring any of my colloquialisms onto the TV set because most of them aren't considered appropriate, or they would be highly <laughs> misunderstood. Sometimes I feel like I'm a bull in a china shop of communication, even walking into this building, because the number one compliment I get is, "Hey, you said it plainly." And sometimes we all need two more. There we go. Yep. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.